This is me, Clash Mind Bro Studios, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a magnetic jetpack for a Mandalorian or a clone rocket trooper or anything like that. Just so, just so you know, I did not copy this from anybody. I just thought of it one day and I decided to make it. So if you guys think I'm copying no bars or anything like that, you can think that. But I'm telling you the honest truth, I didn't. So what you're going to need is two small magnets, which you can find in... Uh, and boxes that have Bluetooth headphone sets in them. Uh, you could find them and cut them out and, you know, just take them out of there. Uh, next, you're going to need some super glue. You're going to need some wire cutters or just a knife or something like that. And then you're just going to need one of these guys or just a jetpack and a regular guy. But anyway, you're going to need to take off the helmet head. And then you're going to need to... You're going to need to um, get your wire cutters and cut right here where this neck connector or neck bracket connects right to the jetpack. So you're going to need You might want to um, sand down this little part right here because it is a hassle trying to get it off. And kind of looks bad after you do something like this. So you might want to just get this and sand it down. Use something like this. Either side, it doesn't matter. Mention that you might need a knife or some scissors because this right here it's kind of hard to cut off or like sand off. So if you try cutting it off, it might you might want to sand it first and then try cutting it because it's really hard to do. But anyway, for the back, you don't really need to do anything to it, but glue the magnet on uh, with this super glue right here. Now the only problem that there is, like if you ever want to take off the jetpack, like the magnets are always, always going to be showing, I would carve a hole in the body, but that would just take too long and I don't have the proper tools for that, so I'm just going to, you know, get this here. Of glue. Now I would probably suggest taking the arms off of the figure because you wouldn't want those getting stuck, would you? So now you're just going to take one magnet and turn it backward just like this just like that so I'm gonna go ahead and take the arms off so they don't get stuck which I recommend you guys do as well so yeah guys so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna you might want to hollow out the jetpack with like the tip of a knife or some scissors and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some glue inside the jetpack I don't know how much you might need, but that's probably about enough. So maybe just a little bit more, but okay. This should be enough. So now you're going to want to turn the other magnet the opposite way. That is, if you have these types of magnets. So you're going to want to turn it the opposite way and try to get it in as best you can. So, something something like that. And then you're going to want to let that dry. And now Hey guys, so I have just finished letting this dry. So, after you let it dry for about a day or so, you can finally take it off like this. And as you can see, it's all dried up and everything. You can paint around and do whatever you want because I'm pretty sure the magnet will still work through paint. So if you ever want to create like a custom Mandalorian or Jetpack Trooper, you can just paint over and do whatever you need. Now, the thing about the back is the magnet can't come off. So you kind of have to deal with that. But other than that, yeah, you could just put on like this. Try to match it up. Try not to move it too hard as well, because if you do, it has the risk of breaking, and I don't know how well that'll be, because I have almost broken this before, but it didn't, so, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for watching, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will probably be doing an update version of this one, uh, just like the rest of them I have. I haven't posted all my tutorials, I just have, like, about three. <laughs> But this is going to be the first one I post, so thanks for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.